guys remember how Yu-Gi-Oh used to be? Normal summon La Jin. Pass. You can't no no. It's King Prepare. All right, guys. There's a lot of players out there that really, really want Yu-Gi-Oh to be what it used to be. Anything that came out after 2005 sucks. But obviously, the game is gonna keep evolving, and we're gonna get new decks and play styles and everything else. And now, I love playing old Yu-Gi-Oh formats. I think it's a pretty well-known fact that I play a whole lot of Go format. I have two Go binders and like six Go decks. <laughs> Not even kidding, guys. I keep a bunch of stuff around just to have around for people that want to pick up and learn how to play the format. And then right here is Near Max Go with a bunch of Hobby League and like German stuff in it that I've collected. <laughs> Anyways, on to the point of the video, and the point of the video is should Konami stop printing all of this legacy support and start supporting legacy formats? You're crazy. <laughs> because all of these legacy cards that we're getting have been a huge cause of debate in the Yu-Gi-Oh community. Because all of these decks like Toons and Red Eyes and Buster Blader haven't even made a single dent on our meta game. And now, guys, Blue Eyes is really, really good, but you have to understand that it is the exception to the rule. But the community seems really divided as to whether or not it wants all of this legacy support. Oh, you are such a nerd! And I'm on the side of the fence that believes that we should not get any legacy support except for maybe every once in a while. Then printing out all of this nostalgic, you know, legacy support set after set after set just gets really old. But one thing that I found that most players actually do agree on is playing old formats. And I've actually talked to the owners of my locals to see if they would, you know, like host go <laughs> tournaments and stuff. And what I found out is that Konami doesn't allow them to host legacy tournaments. Like you can walk in there and play go all you want but you won't get any prize support for it or any Konami points for it. And guys, the reason why Konami doesn't do points and prize support for old formats is money. Money, money. Konami wants you to walk into an official tournament store, buy new stuff, and be motivated to play the current format. And if they hosted legacy format tournaments like Teledad or Go Control or 2002 or what have you, that would definitely make people not buy new product. However, on the other hand, would it bring a lot of older players back into stores to possibly buy? Buy new product, absolutely. So if they had like a different point system or different price support for older formats, I think it would be completely fine because I think it would draw all the older crowd back into the game. And then maybe they'll pick up new cards and build new decks and actually enjoy playing modern Yu-Gi-Oh! And if Konami properly advertised and got the word out about it, I think it would be really kick-ass to have all these players brought back into the game. And of course, I'm kind of selfish and would love to have some local GOAT tournaments because I would be playing those every week. But I want it now! But yeah, guys, I would love to know what you think down in the comment section. Do you think that Konami should support legacy formats? I would love to hear your reasons why or why not, but as always, guys, if you like this video, then dick slap that like button and subscribe. Mm.